Right, I, I thought I'd show off this Fitbit Charge 4, which I took apart. Um, if you look at that, there's some absolutely tiny screws. That's next to a normal Stanley knife. Absolutely tiny. Quite cool. Um, anyway, I so this is the shell of the this is the shell of the Fitbit, and the screen would go on like that, and all of this stuff. This board and this battery mainly being the thing that's being jammed inside. Now, um, one of the things that's been interesting me is, so the sensor board, I've not managed to get this out. I don't know how to get that out. So that's stuck in there. But the other thing you notice is on the side of the Fitbit, there's this indentation. This plastic groove that will not focus. There you go. There's this plastic groove, and that's a button, right? Now, just a bit of pressure, and it you know turns on or off. It's also used as a back button. Now, I could never figure out how it worked because it does just look like um, and an indentation in the plastic. Now, what I've noticed is there is actually something on the back there that looks like a strip of metal. That's basically the the back side of that. Now, what was up against that was this thing here, which is a coil of wire. Uh, well, it's not a coil of wire, it's a trace in a circuit board. But it looks like it's a coil. Now, in electronics, when I see a coil, what I usually think of is some kind of magnetic field. So I don't know if this is some kind of Hall effect sensor or whatever. What confused me is I can't imagine that this field's constantly got current this coil's constantly got current going around it because this thing's a watch that's got to run off a battery. Do they really want to use energy for something like that continuously? Or does it somehow wake up when you press the button? I don't know. Um, it does seem like it's metal. It doesn't seem like it's magnetic. If it is magnetic, it's so lightly magnetic. Um, I wonder if pressing, you're basically pushing a magnet towards the coil. But if not, then presumably it's the other way around. You're pushing a metal plate towards a coil and it senses a uh, disturbance in the force. Uh, anyway, um, so that's some interesting components. There's this wee thing sticking off the side of the board. I'm going to assume that's an acce accelerometer. Um, that's a total guess. I don't really know. I've not found anything that looks like that. But an accelerometer is detecting something physical, so that feels like that might make sense. I guess the Bluetooth and GPS are embedded in this main board. Um, there was this other gizmo here, whatever this is. It looks like it's only got two wires to it, so I wonder if this has got a motor inside it. And this is the thing that vibrates when you get like your alarm or your feedback, your haptic feedback. Um, anyway, if you notice here, there's a connector on the top, and there, this, these things, they're all connectors. And they're the most tiny, delicate wee things. The battery uh, connects with onto one of the pads. It won't really focus. It's in focus. It just and then the touch screen and the display are a couple of these connectors. So one of them is the back one. I assume that's power to the backlight, and then. The other two will be the touch screen, which is kind of basic. It can detect that you've swiped up or down or left or right and that you've tapped. That's about it. It's it's quite basic. And then the other will be the what well, yeah, actually displays on the screen. I tried to separate this, but I've had not much success, but I've been trying to not break anything. Um, and then the battery. Um, from what I can see, it is a... I think that's 71 milliamp hours, 3.85 volts, 2 point, 0 0.273 watt hours. Yeah, that's math, sounds like that adds up. I've not calculated it, but yeah. Um, pretty tiny battery, I don't think I'm going to be able to reuse that. Getting into this was a wee bit of a struggle. I had, what I had to do was I tried cutting, if you look at the indentation, I tried cutting my way through the plastic because I couldn't find a way in without breaking stuff. And then I cut off the plastic at one of the ends. And once I did that, I was able to get something underneath the edge of the screen. 
and just prise it up and it came away quite easily. And then each layer that came out, you just pull it and you had to unscrew screws. And like this, this thing, for example, this was just a plate that was holding down this thing and it was screwed in. Um, to, I think that's where you see the wee captive nuts, the, the wee brass thing there and there. I think it was either there or it was the next one up. It was screwed into, I can't remember which. Anyway. Um, yeah, I thought that was well interesting because I don't really deal with stuff at this kind of scale. So it was cool to see. This thing here looks like some tape that just insulates a series of pads and given that there's nothing connected to them I presume that there are test points mm, maybe not that's power because those are the charge points anyway this is the main the main board well, cool.